Welcome to this video on the ECG features of pericardial effusion. Pericardial effusion is a condition where an abnormal amount of fluid accumulates in the pericardium, which is the sac that encloses the heart. In this video, we will discuss what ECG features are associated with pericardial effusion and how they can help us with the diagnosis. We will start by talking about what kind of changes we may notice on an ECG in someone with pericardial effusion. The most common feature seen on an ECG is electrical alternance, which is when there are alternating loud and soft QRS complexes due to varying amounts of fluid around the heart during each cardiac cycle. What is electrical alternance? It's basically a beat-to-beat -beat variation of the QRS amplitude or axis, and what this tells you is that the heart is swinging to and fro in a large effusion, basically altering its relationship with the ECG leads from beat to beat, so this is QRS alternance or electrical alternance. Now the basic reason for ECG changes in pericardial effusion is the result of the increase in the distance of the heart from the ECG electrodes because of the accumulation of fluid. So the basic features of the ECG in pericardial effusion would include, number one, low voltage QRS complexes, because of the increased distance we just talked about. Next, the presence of sinus tachycardia, and lastly, a peculiar phenomenon known as electrical alternance. You would find electrical alternance especially if the effusion is large. So this is an example of an ECG from a patient to the large pericardial effusion. You can appreciate the low voltage QRS complexes especially in lead 3 and AVL. You can also classify if you look at the rhythm strip, for example, in lead 2, right at the bottom of the ECG, that alternate QRS complexes are short and tall. So this is a classical example of electrical alternans. Now, let's summarize it again. The most common feature seen on an ECG is electrical alternans, which is when there are alternating loud and soft QRS complexes due to varying amounts of fluid around the heart during each cardiac cycle. We may also see ST segment depression or T wave flattening as well as sinus tachycardia, all signs that indicate decreased cardiac output due to excess fluid accumulation in the pericardium. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we will discuss about the constructive pericarditis in detail. Thank you.